This week on The Wire, Labor Home Scheme comes with risks, RBA lifts official cash rate to 0.35%, and rental housing a key to affordability. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment and more. And kicking it off today with our top story for this week, Labor Home Scheme comes with risks. So the Labor Party's proposed home equity scheme could expose the government's balance sheet to financial risk and that is according to the Grattan Institute. Now, Labor housing spokesman Jason Clare has revealed it may need to pay interest on borrowings worth about $5 billion in the first year. The Grattan Institute also says it could push up house prices, but housing industry groups which represent low-income households and community housing providers have welcomed the initiative. Now, Emma Greenhalgh of National Shelter says a similar scheme has worked successfully in Western Australia for more than a decade, helping more people get into the market. She says it will benefit people looking to re-enter the housing markets, first home buyers, and in particular, older women who are facing housing issues as a result of separation. And also according to an Anglicare nationwide survey, the rental crisis persists. It found that of the nearly 46,000 homes advertised for rent, only 720, which was less than 2%, were affordable to a single person on the minimum wage. Now guys, moving on to our next story. RBA lifts official cash rate to 0.35%. So after months of speculation, the Reserve Bank of Australia has lifted its official cash rate for the first time in more than a decade. It has increased from a record low of 0.1% to 0.35%. And the increase follows the announcement last week that inflation increased to 5.1% in the year to June. Now, Property Investment Professionals of Australia Chair Nicola McDougall says the minor increase in the cash rate is unlikely to impact the vast majority of borrowers. She says it's important to understand that at 0.35%, the cash rate is still below what it was before the pandemic and well below the 2 to 2.5%. It was throughout the majority of the Sydney property boom, which ended about five years ago. She says anyone borrowing to buy a property has been assessed at being able to make repayments 3% above current rates. And Mortgage Choices' David Zamet says the question now is which lenders will be the first to pass on the rate rise. And now guys, for our final story of the week. Rental housing, a key to affordability. So pressures on renters increased substantially in the past two years with new data showing a severe shortage in all forms of housing. The Housing Industry Association's Kristen Brookfield says, although new home building activity has increased, there is still a shortage in private rental properties. She says, at a time when owner-occupied housing and rentals are under pressure, it is essential to ensure an adequate supply of affordable rental housing. She says affordable, subsidised rental housing gives people a safe place to live and if possible, the chance to save for a future where they can move along into the housing continuum and into a home of their own. Now the HIA would like to see practical solutions offered during the federal election campaign, such as ensuring the existing rent assistance stays on par with inflation. This election provides an important opportunity to deliver secure housing for all. This will support Australia's economic recovery and our future economic growth. And that's from the HIA. Well guys, they're the top stories happening this week. Now please don't forget to like, comment, share this video, and follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week, and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks a lot, and bye for now.